You might not believe this, but the Indominus Rex's million dollar upgrades are perfectly designed to get it killed by real dinosaurs. Everyone thinks this engineered monster would dominate the Jurassic period. It has eight different species of DNA, cutting edge camouflage technology, thermal vision, super intelligence, all high quality bioengineering. But if you were to drop it into the real late Jurassic formation, it would be dead in no time flat. We're talking about a creature that costs $26 million to create. Every single upgrade becomes a death sentence. The camouflage that's supposed to make it invisible makes it a glowing target. The thermal vision designed to hunt prey, completely useless in a greenhouse world. The intelligence meant to make it unstoppable, it just makes it aware of how badly it's failing. But all of these failures start way before it even takes its first step. So picture this, you just hatched from your fancy lab egg. You're this brand new super predator. You've got all these cool upgrades that cost more than most people's homes. The first thing you do, try out that sweet camouflage system. Now, here's where things get weird. The cuttlefish DNA that was added was supposed to make this thing invisible, and technically, it does work. The skin changes color perfectly. The patterns shift just right. By every measure the scientist used, it's flawless. Except for one tiny problem. Cuttlefish evolved to fool fish. Fish that can only see two colors, maybe three if they're having a really good day. Dinosaurs, they see four colors, plus ultraviolet. Their eyes are much more evolved than a fish's is. So while our million dollar monster thinks it's completely invisible, every herbivore in a five mile radius can see this ghostly white freak show perfectly. It's not going to be camouflaged. It's going to stick out like a sore thumb. But wait, there's more, because apparently someone thought, you know what this invisible death machine needs? The ability to scream at 160 decibels. That's louder than standing next to a jet engine. At takeoff, every time this thing would try to be sneaky, it would announce its location to literally everything within 20 miles once it roars and tries to catch its prey. Pterosaurs in the next county are going to be hearing this thing coming. Now you might think, okay, the camouflage is broken, but at least it has its thermal vision. Well, you're wrong again. See, pit vipers hunt mice in cool desert nights. There are big temperature differences. So it makes these mice easy targets. The Jurassic Morrison formation is a greenhouse world where everything is basically the same temperature all the time. AKA, it's pretty hot out. It's like trying to use night vision goggles at noon in the fog while someone is breathing on the lens. The thermal vision would show everything as the same gray blob. Prey, predators, rocks, trees, they would all just be warm, fuzzy static. Our high-tech hunter is basically staring at television snow and calling it a hunting strategy. But here's my personal favorite part of this disaster, the immune system. Modern animals have spent millions of years building up defenses against modern germs. The Indominus Rex has a shiny new immune system that's never seen a single prehistoric pathogen. It's like showing up to a medieval battle in riot gear. Sure, you're protected against modern threats, but you're completely helpless against whatever plagues they've got brewing in their dirty water. So within hours of hatching, this thing is getting sick from bacteria that died out when your great, 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 great times a million grandmother was still figuring out how to walk upright. The scientists spent years perfecting its DNA, but they forgot to teach its immune system how to handle the Jurassic equivalent of food poisoning. So now we have an invisible monster that glows like a lighthouse, can't see anything through its fancy heat vision, and is getting the prehistoric flu from breathing the wrong air. And remember, this creature has the intelligence of a velociraptor. It knows something is wrong. It just doesn't know what or how to fix it. Imagine being the smartest person in the room, but every single thing you try to do makes your situation worse. That's this creature's entire existence. It tries to hide. Everyone sees it. It tries to hunt. It can't see its prey. It tries to stay healthy, and it gets sick from just existing. And the worst part, again, it's smart enough to realize it's failing, but it's too confused to understand why. Eight different species of DNA would all be screaming different instructions at the same time. The T-Rex parts want to charge in and bite everything. The Velociraptor parts want to be sneaky and coordinated. The Cuttlefish parts want to change colors and hide. But if you think having broken upgrades is frustrating, well, wait until this thing gets hungry. Because it turns out eating is hard when your mouth is a genetic train wreck. Remember how they mixed Majungasaurus DNA to give it more teeth? Well, Majungasaurus had weird teeth. Really weird teeth. The kind that grow in random directions and break constantly. Normal dinosaur teeth grow in neat rows. They fall out when they're supposed to, and new ones replace them in the right spots. It's a system that has worked for millions of years. 
but the Indominus Rex got the discount version. Its teeth grow at different speeds. Some grow sideways, others grow backwards. Half of them crack before they're even fully formed, and the other half fall out at random times. Every single day, this thing wakes up with a mouth full of broken glass. And here's the fun part. Every time it tries to bite something, the pain would be incredible. We're talking about nerve endings in busted teeth getting smashed against bone and meat. Picture this for a second. You've had a toothache before, right? I want you now to imagine that toothache drinking ice cold water, then chewing mint gum, and then biting a solid piece of metal. Let me know how painful that is and times that by 100. But it still has to eat, so every meal would be basically torture. And the bleeding would never stop either. This creature has fresh blood in its mouth 24 hours a day, which means every breath would taste like copper pennies. Oh, and bacteria love warm, bloody environments. So now its mouth is also a breeding ground for infections that spread to its jaw, then its skull, and then its brain. The scientists thought more teeth meant better hunting but they accidentally created a creature that's in constant agony every time it opens its mouth. But the tooth situation is just one problem. The bigger issue is that this thing needs to eat constantly. See, they designed it to grow really fast, faster than any real dinosaur ever did. That sounds cool until you realize fast growth requires massive amounts of food. A normal young Allosaurus might need to eat once every few days. The Indominus Rex needs to eat multiple times per day just to keep up with its own body. It's burning through calories faster than it can hunt them, which means it's always starving, which means it has to take bigger and bigger risks to find food. Hungry animals make stupid decisions, and this thing is hungry all the time. So now we have a creature that's in constant pain, always starving and making terrible choices because it's desperate. But wait, it gets worse. Remember how this thing has DNA from eight different species? Well, those species all had different hunting styles and they're all trying to control the same body. The T-Rex DNA wants to charge straight at prey and crush it with raw power. Head down, full speed, bite everything in sight. But the Velociraptor DNA wants to be sneaky and coordinated. Circle around, wait for the perfect moment and work with a pack. The Carnotaurus DNA wants to ram at things head first, use those horns and be a living battering ram. So the Indominus Rex starts a hunt by trying to be sneaky. Then it gets impatient and charges. Then it tries to ram something with its head. Then it remembers it's supposed to be working with a pack that doesn't exist. The poor thing starts stalking a Stegosaurus. It gets halfway there and suddenly decides it should be charging instead. It realizes it's supposed to be coordinated with other hunters and looks around for a pack that isn't there. Then it gets confused and roars really loud. Meanwhile, the Stegosaurus has been watching this whole disaster unfold and just decides to walk away. And because this creature is smart, it knows something is wrong. It can feel all of these different instincts fighting each other, but it can't figure out how to make them work together. Think about trying to sneeze and hold it in at the same time. Now imagine that feeling, but with every decision you make about everything. Should I hide or attack? Should I be quiet or loud? Should I hunt alone or look for help? Every choice becomes an internal argument between eight different sets of instructions. The Therizinosaurus DNA is telling it to use those big claws for defense. The T-Rex DNA wants to bite everything. The Pit Viper DNA thinks it should ambush from hiding spots. None of these strategies work together. You can't charge while sneaking, you can't ambush while roaring, and you can't hunt alone while looking for a pack. But the creature keeps trying all of them, sometimes at the same time. And every failed hunt means more hunger, more pain, and more desperation. The bleeding mouth makes eating painful, the metabolic demands make starvation constant, and the conflicting instincts make success impossible. This isn't an apex predator anymore. It's a walking disaster that happens to have big teeth. And speaking of real apex predators, there's something else living here that actually knows how to hunt. Because this ecosystem already has a king, and it's been doing this job for millions of years. While our lab experiment is stumbling around bleeding from its mouth, there's another predator watching from the tree line. One that evolved here. One that belongs here. This thing moves at 34 kilometers per hour. That's faster than you're allowed to drive through most neighborhoods. And it's completely silent when it wants to be. Its skull is built for one specific job. Every bone, every muscle, every tooth has been refined over millions of years to do one thing perfectly kill large herbivores in this exact environment. The neck muscles alone are three times bigger than they need to be just for holding up the head. That extra power lets it strike downwards with the force of a sledgehammer. One hit can crack a spine. It has a massive brain space dedicated to scent. It can track a wounded animal from miles away and it knows when you're scared 
It knows when you're sick, it knows when you're about to die. Our white freak show has been wandering around for months now, bleeding, starving, making noise, leaving scent trails everywhere. And this predator has been following the whole time, watching, learning, waiting for the right moment. See, there's a reason this creature survived here for millions of years. It doesn't waste energy on fights it can't win. It doesn't attack healthy prey when sick prey is available. It's patient, it's smart, it's efficient. And when they finally meet, the difference is immediate. The lab creature tries its usual routine, stands tall, changes colors, roars at jet engine volume, but the real predator just stares. No reaction, no fear, no confusion. Then it does something the Indominus Rex has never seen before. A slow head tilt, a specific posture, a low rumble that means leave now or die, because this is how real dinosaurs communicate. Millions of years of evolution created this language. Every predator here understands it and every herbivore respects it, but the Indominus Rex has no idea what any of it means. So it does what it always does, roars louder, changes more colors, and waves its arms around. The real predator interprets this as I'm insane and unpredictable and need to be killed immediately. Game over. This is the Allosaurus fragilis, the lion of the Jurassic, the thing that actually earned the title of Apex Predator. While the Indominus Rex is a collection of random parts, Allosaurus is a machine built for one purpose. Every part works together, every system supports the others. The legs are built for those 34 km per hour charges. The arms are positioned perfectly for grabbing. The claws are shaped for slicing. The teeth are designed for the exact prey that lives here. We know this works because we have found the proof. We found an Allosaurus vertebrae with a Stegosaurus tail spike driven clean through it. This predator died fighting, but it fought things that could actually kill it and it usually won. The Indominus Rex at this point has been avoiding anything dangerous. It's been eating mostly small, sick animals. The biggest thing it's probably been able to kill was a large fish, but now it's face to face with something that hunts Stegosaurus for breakfast. The psychological impact would hit immediately. Remember, this creature is smart, smart enough to recognize when it's completely outmatched. It can see the efficiency, the confidence, the total lack of fear. This isn't another confused lab experiment. This is what a real predator looks like. And the Allosaurus wouldn't even be trying yet. It's just standing there, calm, ready, completely at ease in its own territory. The Indominus Rex would start backing up. The bleeding mouth, the constant hunger, the pain from all the broken teeth. All of it suddenly feels much worse when you're looking at something that could end you without breaking a sweat. The stress hormones that were already destroying its immune system spike even higher. Its heart rate jumps, its vision blurs. Every single genetic defect becomes more obvious when you're terrified. Meanwhile, the Allosaurus just waits. It doesn't need to prove anything. It doesn't need to show off. It knows exactly what it is and what it can do. This is the difference between something built in a lab and something forged by millions of years of natural selection. One is a collection of features that sound scary and impressive on paper. The other is a tested, proven, perfected killing machine. The fight, when it comes, isn't even close. But here's what most people miss about this story. The Allosaurus doesn't even need to fight it because the real killer is stress. Not claws, not teeth, not some epic dinosaur battle, just pure, constant, overwhelming stress that turns the creature's own body against itself. See, if you didn't know, when animals get stressed, their bodies pump out hormones. Cortisol mainly. It's supposed to help you survive short-term danger. Fight or flight, get through the crisis, then go back to normal. But the Indominus Rex never gets to go back to normal. Because every single day is a crisis. The broken mouth hurts constantly. The hunger never stops. The confusion from conflicting instincts would never end. The fear of better predators would never go away. So the stress hormones just keep flowing. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for months. The best way I can describe this is actually with these aquariums behind me. They house different types of fish, and fish are incredibly sensitive to stress. When they are scared, or their water quality isn't good, or they're not getting fed enough, they will get stressed, and because they get stressed, they will often become sick quite fast and die soon after. Most animals function this way, because cortisol, when it never stops, becomes poison. For the Indominus Rex, first it would shut down the immune system. Your body figures it doesn't need to fight germs when it's busy running from predators except this creature is always running from something, even if it's just its own broken biology. Within weeks, every minor infection becomes major. That bacteria from the ancient air, now it's in the bloodstream. 
the mouth bleeding from broken teeth now it's sepsis spreading through the jaw remember those prehistoric germs its modern immune system couldn't handle well they're having a party now the cortisol also starts eating away at the brain literally the parts that control learning memory and decision making start shrinking the parts that control fear and anger start growing so now this creature is getting dumber and more scared at the same time every day it can think less clearly every day it's more terrified of everything around it but the worst part is the gut you know how your stomach feels when you're really nervous before a big test now imagine that feeling never going away for months the stress hormones shut down normal digestion the creature can't process food properly anymore even when it manages to catch something its body can't properly extract the nutrients because the gut bacteria that helps break down food it's dead killed off by stress chemicals and constant infection so now we have a creature that's starving to death even when its stomach is full eating constantly but getting little nutrition and thus the body starts consuming its own muscle tissue and fat for energy and remember this thing was designed to grow fast but fast growth requires massive amounts of nutrients nutrients it can no longer absorb the growth process becomes a nightmare bones trying to get longer without enough calcium muscles trying to develop without enough protein organs trying to function without enough energy everything starts falling apart from the inside out the skin becomes thin and tears easily the bones become brittle the muscles waste away even those fancy opposable thumbs become too weak to actually grip anything and through all of this the creature is still smart enough to know what's happening it can feel itself dying it understands that its body is failing but it has no idea how to stop it there's no pack to protect it when it gets too weak to hunt no family to bring it food when it can't move and no social group to help it through the crisis real dinosaurs had social structures even the predators had ways to communicate ways to establish territory without fighting ways to avoid unnecessary conflicts the indominus rex has none of that it's completely alone in a world that makes no sense to it and when the end comes it's not dramatic there's no epic battle there's no heroic last stand it just stops being able to get up one morning too weak too sick too broken to continue the stress finally wins and within hours the scavengers arrive small theropods pterosaurs insects everything that was afraid of this ultimate predator comes to clean up the mess the 26 million dollar monster becomes lunch for creatures that cost nothing to make all of those upgrades that were supposed to make it unstoppable every single one became a step towards this moment the camouflage made it a target the intelligence made it suffer the advanced genetics made it sick because nature doesn't care how much money you spent it will always find a way if you enjoyed this theory video on what life would be like for the indominus rex back in the jurassic period let me know down in the comments below because i'd love to make more content just like this in the future maybe use other famous iconic dinosaurs in a similar type of video and if you liked watching this video you should click the one on screen now because it's similar and even better